Welcome to the unit I review of electrostatics part one. So we'll see how this goes. This should be a shorter review. Okay, let's start off with, uh, we have these two charges. Q1 is six coulombs. Q2 is negative two coulombs. Uh, not coulombs, Qs, just Qs. So Q is a certain amount of coulombs. But this is six Q and this is negative two Q. And there's 20 newtons of force between them. And I guess that would be an attractive force since that's negative and that's positive. Okay, so um, what would happen if we, um, what would happen to this force if we um, doubled this force? They're right now a distance d apart. What would happen if we doubled that charge right there? We made it negative 4q. What would happen to the force? Go ahead and guess. Okay, by doubling 2q, um, if we look at the, for, at the Coulomb's Law formula, by doubling the one charge, by putting a 2 there, that makes this force twice as big. So that would be 40 newtons. That would be 40 newtons. Okay, what would happen to this force if we um, half this distance? So these were... Um, half the distance apart, but the same negative 2q and 6q, what would happen if we half that distance? What would happen to the force? Go ahead and check. Try. Okay. Um, if you look, let's get rid of that 2. And um, we're going to put a half here. But that half um, goes in a parentheses there. So when I square this, this is going to give me 1 quarter r squared, and one quarter being the denominator is like making the force four times greater. So the new force here will be 80 newtons. It'll be four times as great. All right. All right, now um, here we have um, some charges, and uh, these are metal spheres, and they're identical in size. So this is a metal sphere, and a metal sphere, they're identical in size. Um, one has a charge of 6q, positive, and this has a charge of negative 2q. Um, they have 20 newtons of force between them. Uh, there's a force on this this way of 20 newtons and a force this way of 20 newtons. Okay, could you tell me if I brought these together without, maybe with some insulating gloves or something, and touch them. Now remember, they're metal spheres. If I touch them and then separated them back to a distance d, could you tell me um, what the new charge would be on each of them? Let's just do that first. What will be the new charge on each of them? Okay, so when you touch them, the new charge, um, this touching that, there's a net charge there of, um, what is that? 6q plus negative 2q is 4 to four q And so that's going to be that they'll split up. Um, half will go over here, so this will be 2q, positive, and this will be 2q. So see how it still has a net charge of 4q total? This had a net charge of 4q, and this does too. Could you tell me what the new force will be if the old force was 20 newtons? Okay, the new force is going to be um, k, q1, times Q2 all over R squared. Now look, I left that space there so that I could sneak some numbers in here. This went down by a, a third, so this is only a third of its old old charge. So I put a one-third there. And this um, is the same, even though this now will be a repulsive force between these two where it wasn't attractive, but the, but the magnitude has stayed the same. So my force will be one-third of the old force. So one-third of that force, the new force, will be um, one-third of 20. So 20 thirds or 6.7 newtons. But it will be a repulsive force this time. Okay. I have um, two charges, Q and Q. They're the same charge, and they're on a coordinate system. And um, there are some regions here. Region 1 is to the left of Q, of the Q on, 
of this Q. Region 2 is in the middle, so is region 3, so is region 4, and region 5 is on the other side of the right Q. Okay, could you tell me in which region the electric field is going to be zero? In which, in which region or regions will the electric field be, be zero? Okay, well, let's see. In region one, um, it's not going to be zero because um, if I put a positive test charge here, it's going to be being repelled by this guy with a lot of force and by this guy with a little bit of force. And so those are going to not cancel. If I put it in region two, it's going to be being repelled a lot by this force and a little by this force. And so those, this is going to be a huge vector this way, and this will be a little vector over here. And so those aren't going to be equal. There will be a spot, though, dead center, if these are equal charges, where this force from this guy pushing on the test charge that way and the force from this one pushing on the test charge this way will cancel. So where is the field zero? In region three, actually at the dead center of region three. Okay, we have um, two equal but opposite charges at um, two diagonal um, corners of a square. And um, let's call this A and A. And um, we'd like to know what the electric field is at point P. What will be the electric field at point P? Go ahead and try it. Okay, the electric field at point P, um, well, let's first just deal with this guy. Forget about that one. We'll use the principle of superposition. And so uh, if I put a test charge here, it's going to be pulled this way. And that, for, that field is K times Q. I'm just using the magnitude. I've already put the negative in by putting the arrow there. Times A squared. Okay, the field from this guy, forget about this one for a moment, is going to be this way because that's a positive charge and it'd push, push a, a test charge that way. And it would again be KQ over A squared. Okay, well, let me add these up then. If I bring these over here and if I add this up, I got this for this field. Now an electric field vector has both magnitude and direction, all vectors, all vectors have magnitude and direction. So the here, let me show you the vector. This is showing you the direction and this is the magnitude of it. Here's the other vector. And it's kq over a squared. So this is the total vector then. Its magnitude, its direction is 45 degrees because these are an isosceles triangle. And its magnitude is the square root of 2 times kq over a squared. Okay, we have time for maybe one more. What is the direction of the electric field at the center of this square? Now, I just want to know the direction. I don't want to know the actual um, amount of field. I just want to know the direction. So... Um, Go ahead and see if you can figure that out. This is positive Q, negative Q, positive Q, and positive Q. This is a square. All these Qs have the same magnitude. This one is negative. Go ahead and see if you can figure it out. Okay, so um, here's a quick way to, to look at this. This The field from this one and from this one cancel out. This, one, this one's pushing that way. This one would push a positive test charge that way. They cancel out. This field from this one is pushing this way, and this field from this one is pushing that way also. So the direction of the field, these cancel. The direction of the field is going to be a big vector going that way. Okay. And I think we're going to call it an end to session one, so I don't have to hustle to get this next one done. All right, thanks. See you in, in uh, the second one.